Welcome to the Constructor. In this video we're going to show you basic features of the Constructor as well as uh, help you get familiar with the interface. Uh, over here uh, on the left side here you'll notice this is your main diagram area. This is where you'll be uh, designing your schematics as well as testing and troubleshooting your circuits uh, when you're finished. Over here on the right, you'll notice this information being displayed. This is the act of help, and this will display information uh, regarding the area that your mouse cursor is actually over. So as we move our mouse to different areas and over different components, the actual act of help will update itself and give you information regarding that area and that component. To start here, we're going to actually deactivate the help menu the act of help by going up here to this uh, unsplit screen button by clicking that it'll maximize our work area you can bring that act of help back at any time by clicking this split screen button so this is your main diagram area uh, you'll notice several uh, dotted lines and grid boxes <clears throat> over here uh, if you just left click on a dotted line it'll actually place a wire like so to get a symbol, what you do is uh, right click in a grid box and it'll display a symbol library. And here uh, in the default library is a collection of uh, many symbols from the different categories that we have. And you can look at those categories by uh, dropping down the library menu and click on the category that you want. Uh, as we move over the symbols, it'll display a little animation of the symbol uh, similar to what you'll see in simulation as well as give you information regarding uh, that particular symbol. Here we're just going to select uh, normally open switch. I'll just click on here and uh, scroll down to see some of the other symbols. So we have uh, coils and uh, switches and lights and push buttons. Select uh, one more symbol here. A light to place in this spot here. Okay, and uh, as you, uh, the last symbol that you selected actually is uh, in memory, so uh, each time you click in a grid box, it'll actually place that symbol. To uh, delete symbols, uh, what you do is uh, right click on a symbol and you can actually click uh, del delete. Uh, to delete a wire, all you have to do is uh, right click in the center of the wire and it'll actually remove the wire that you placed. You can also uh, delete uh, groups of objects by holding down your left mouse button and dragging a rubber band uh, over the area that you want to delete and release and it will highlight that area. At this point you can actually choose to move to a, a new location uh, or you can just hit delete on your keyboard and it will delete those objects. Uh, another option here we have is to uh, convert these PowerPoints. These are your PowerPoints uh, that you'll uh, use during simulation that will provide the power flow to your circuit. Uh, you can right click uh, on a PowerPoint and you'll, you'll get a menu here. We can convert to a single wire, uh, single phase two wire. And we move this PowerPoint over to its new location. Okay, and above here, above each uh, symbol, you have a, a description box. Uh, beside each wire, you have a, a space for wire labels. We can just uh, type in a, a quick description for this uh, coil here. Click on the switch. Up above here, uh, we have some buttons that will allow us to actually compress our diagram both uh, horizontally and vertically here. This will uh, allow you to uh, get more space uh, in your diagram and stuff for working uh, in printing. They, the, the prints will be more compressed and stuff for you. Over here we have uh, several drawing tools for you to choose from. Um, boxes, rectangles, uh, and text objects. Um, you can click on one of these and then uh, begin drawing by just holding down your left mouse button and drawing to the size that you want. And then when you release, uh, we have this uh, drawing tools menu that'll uh, pop up here, which will give you options uh, for that particular object that you have selected. You can change the background style. Um, you can anchor it to the grid for when you're moving, um, as well as uh, set your different border styles and things like that. I'll just uh, move that out of the way here. 
Uh, over here we have uh, different wiring options. You can choose to design with uh, solid wires uh, or dashed wires. We'll just show you a quick sample here. So this would be the dashed wire option and then back to the solid wire. Uh, you can also choose to uh, have a display for uh, your wire colors. So if you want to design in the different wire colors and stuff, you can certainly do that by choosing a color through this drop down menu. Uh, here, these are where you will uh, set up your uh, automatic wire numbering feature. Uh, you can set how you want the wire numbers to be displayed uh, in their boxes. Above here, this uh, icon right here will allow you to add a legend to your diagram as well as other uh, owner information. Uh, you can set fonts and stuff here as well. These buttons up here, this allows us to uh, actually show um, our grid area or hide it. Uh, you can also lock it. Um, these buttons here allow you to uh, lock and hide your drawing layer. So those, that drawing object just disappeared there. Click that back on and it uh, reappears. Up above here we have uh, several uh, menu options. Electrical components. This is where you can add uh, new sets of power points <clears throat> as well as uh, transformers. And then you have uh, modules such as PLCIOs and terminal strips that are also available. Under your help, this is where you can get access to your help menu. Uh, we have some internet links uh, for um, the different videos that we have available, uh, email addresses. You can also change uh, environment settings uh, in your program by clicking under options and then go into environment options. Uh, this will give you the option to um, set your grid snapping. Um, you can set colors. You notice how our color actually changes here as well as our background go back to the white here we can uh, start a new diagram uh, or open an existing one by going to file we can open a project And we'll just uh, select one from the list. There's several samples included in the constructor. Here we have a sample circuit we just loaded. Uh, we'll quickly uh, show you the simulation. Uh, up here, click the power switch and it'll activate simulation mode. And then by we can click uh, switches here. And you'll see that they react accordingly. I'm click that off. Back to design mode. Up above, uh, you'll notice uh, several tabs here. Uh, these tabs allow you to uh, include like documentation um, for your project, uh, wire labels, uh, notes. Uh, in this workbook area, uh, this has some information uh, as well as some uh, links that we'll show you here real quick. Uh, in the main diagram, you can actually choose to have this displayed alongside your project here. Uh, using that split screen button like we uh, showed you earlier with the active help. And here, so we have information uh, regarding this uh, specific diagram as well as some active links here. And we'll show you real quick back in simulation. We can actually use these links to work our diagram as well. And this may be helpful for uh, educational purposes or just including uh, various information for your uh, different projects. Under the file menu, we can uh, choose to export our ladder diagram to a different file format if we choose. Uh, in the export preview window, uh, we have some zoom controls here where we can zoom out, uh, zoom in, we can move in and uh, take a look at our diagram before we choose to export it. Uh, down here is your export options where you can choose uh, DWG, DXF, JPEG, um, you, when you hit save then it'll uh, export your diagram for you. Uh, also under file uh, is the print uh, command where you can print your diagram. Um, brings up a preview window where you can see your diagram that you're going to be printing. Uh, you can choose to uh, set the print scale, uh, zoom in and out. 
These buttons up here um, is where you can quickly start a new project. Um, also uh, open the, the new project wizard um, which will allow you to set up uh, different functions for your diagram. Uh, under diagram layout uh, you can set the diagram size, the columns, uh, the spacing as well as the, the PowerPoint types to include. Uh, and If you want to have any rung numbers uh, you can also include a document uh, in your new project and when you're done uh, you can save that template and it'll show up in your list uh, for a, a quick reference. So this concludes um, this video. Uh, for more help uh, we have uh, other videos on our website. Thanks.